Hello, my name is Brother Sean, and I am one of the co-founders of the Teo community of St. Francis. And as one of the mighty companions with Mother Olivia, our spiritual mother, and Sister Teresa, and myself, I guess I've drawn the short straw to talk to you about a simple vision given by St. Francis of Assisi to my heart when I knelt at his tomb and the message from the Cosmic Christ and Francis was not to build a new church or a new New Age movement but simply to reach out and offer a hand of friendship to all faiths and none, and to restore God's children as one loving family. What a challenge! The Teo community was born in 2006. In July of that year, 12 of our student therapists that I was training received a message a very beautiful message from Lord Katumi, St. Francis. And the message was exactly what I was given, but the message was to reach out and embrace all, to embrace the wounded, the rejected, the lonely and the oppressed, the spiritually impoverished, those who believed in a loving God but who encountered opposition within their religious family or faith community because of personal issues, maybe sexual issues. And that is the vision. And the vision that we were given was not a vision to reach out to the well, but to reach out to those who are hurting. And those some who've come to meet with us are inspired by that vision. There are others who are very quick to discredit what God has asked us to do. But if you come from the heart, and that's what we do, we have come from our heart to embrace a loving God, a Father Mother God of all faiths. And really in truth, there is only one God and one face. And the message given two years later to me as I knelt weeping my heart out for man's inhumanity to man in the name of God, for the men and women who were dedicated to God, who down through the centuries have alienated so many ordinary and beautiful souls from their God. And, and St. Francis doesn't want us to insist on a dogma or a hierarchy. He wants us to keep it plain and simple, as he was. He didn't buy into the dogma of the Church. His belief in Christ, in Jesus, the barefoot Galilean, is what inspired him to leave family and friends and live in caves. I guess he was disillusioned with the established church of the 12th century because at that time it was corrupt where the popes and bishops and cardinals and clergy lost sight of why they were in the position they were in and I guess that's the reason why today Lord Gautumi St. Francis has reached out to ordinary men and women of different faiths and different lifestyles to come together in love and to shoulder the burden of that rejection by just being there for one another. So our vision is simple. We are not affiliated to any religious organization or church. We do not subscribe to enforcing dogma, 
representing a belief. We do not exclude anyone who doesn't believe. And we do, certainly do not exclude brothers and sisters who because of personal choices to do with their sexuality or disability or age, they are welcome. The Teo vision is for all men and women who are living a spiritual life or who are on a path to finding their truth, to healing their brokenness, who are in need of support, who want to experience traditional Franciscan hospitality that's all embracing, all encompassing, where there is no hidden agenda, that one must compromise their belief, their lifestyle, for the sake of being accepted as a member. Our community is made up of ordinary men and women who some have embraced the monastic life from their own home, their monastery without walls. And they live a simple life. They have drawn up their own rule of life. No rule is enforced on anyone. And the vision within the vision of from St. Francis is that we build Katumi village, a village where there will be a self-sustaining community committed to eco-sustainability, who will live in eco parts, who will come together three times a day like the Essenes, at sunrise, at noon and sunset, and just hold hands and celebrate the God of love. That is the vision. And it's not my vision. It's not the vision of the mighty companions within the Teo community. It's your vision. It's a loving God reaching down to the marginalized, to the ordinary men and women who've been estranged from their religious family, who've become more preoccupied with political correctness, with keeping up appearances, with dogma, with enforcing the letter of the law, and compromising the spirit of the law, which is God's love. I come to you today, I come to you in love, and I invite you to support us. I invite you, if you are a Buddhist, a Muslim, a Jew, a Christian, a Hindu, a Baha'i member of the family of God, to come and bring your belief, bring your culture, your diversity, your knowledge, your wisdom, and share it with us. Because when we meet here once a month for our community days, as oblates or as monastics, we don't talk about God. There is no need. We don't defend God because there is no need. What we do is we embrace the God within each other and we hold each other. Though many of us struggle with rejection from the established church, we hold each other in love and we embrace the one God of one face and none through the natural world, the cathedral of nature. The vision is your vision. We, yes, are the custodians of it, but we were asked to do something and we had a choice. We could have done what a lot have done in the established religions, where they said no to the Spirit of God, but we've said yes. And our responsibility is to keep this vision alive, though challenging, but keep it simple, and ensure that it never becomes bogged down with hierarchy, with committees, with legislation, and with dogma. It's a vision that's all-encompassing and all-embracing. I shall go to the mosque of the Muslim and I shall enter the Christian church and kneel before the crucifix. I shall enter the Buddhist temple and take refuge in the Buddha. I shall go into the forest and sit down in meditation with the Hindu and in addition I shall keep my heart open for all that may come in the future. Is God's book finished or is Revelation still going on? 